Can everyone get really excited for my Snapchat story again? Ready? Hello, Mr. Stem! Thank you. What up? What? Oops, I'm sorry, I missed my um. That was my same jump. I thought we could both do it at the same time. I just, I, I specifically asked you not to do this to me tonight. Of all nights, I'm really sorry. <laughs> All right, welcome to the third annual Mr. Stem competition. We are your hosts, Jerry Coleman and Ben Wright. One could, say ben and Jerry. <laughs> One could say Ben and Jerry, but please don't confuse us with the popular ice cream brand. Yes, and um, we have a, a thing of Ben and Jerry's right here. We despise this, but out of good taste and of how generous we are, we're going to leave it for the judges to have. Yeah, I have painter's pants, they have many pockets. <laughs> First off, we'd like to thank the charity of this event is supporting the LiveYourDream.org, which helps women, empower women through opportunity with education. Thank you for all that you've done. <laughs> We have a show for you that is packed with excitement, humor, quizzery, and lots of dramatic flair. <laughs> but really, the show is bound to knock your socks off. Unless you're wearing open-toed shoes. Which isn't safe in any lab or work environment. Shout out to Jocelyn Long. <laughs> and and Miss Jocelyn, if you're in the crowd tonight, if you could see me during intermission, my uh, middle button fell off, so if you bring me a sewing machine, that'd be great. Um, I see a lot of unfamiliar faces in the crowd tonight, which is a good thing. So I thought to ease the obvious tension, uh, we could talk about some things that we're very proud of here at the Academy. One for me, I take great pride in my studies. Oh really? What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one? Boy, you stupid. Sorry, I'm in math studies. Oh yeah. I forgot you guys haven't gotten to the addition chapter yet. This is just one of the few things that we're proud of here at the Academy. Ah, uh, yes, you cannot forget the Powder Puff game. Jackson Hale, Nate Redding, John West, Cameron Kuiper, and of course, most importantly, our beloved head coach and great food runner, Joey Ross. We also can't forget the, the district introducing a new biology textbook, but of course that couldn't have been done without the great help of George Tucker. <laughs> Although I do appreciate this fine work from T-Dog, I do miss the pleasure of having him as my bio teacher. Aww. Some great quotes from Mr. Tucker. For only nine times, don't forget that. Man, what a guy. A teacher that I have been blessed with yet again for the third year in a row is Signor Verbosky. A man that has more Spanish speaking or excuse me, more cacti than he has Spanish speaking ability. <laughs> LOL. Our contestants are amazing, and they're great citizens of the community too. Take Ben Mooka, Mooka for example. A fantastic firefighter and EMT. However, he does take more time taking pictures of himself at fires than actually putting them out. A true Chester County redneck to the corn. Thankfully, B Mook has emerged from his Relay for Life tent to put on quite a show for us today. STEM Academy, we have a plethora of athletes. 
However, our only official team is the Knowledge Team. 2015 champions battle the brains. Way to go, guys. Not only do they talk the talk, they walk the walk, let me tell you. But we do have a lot of great talent here tonight, especially Liam Skinner. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Liam couldn't make it. He's at the Green Street Grill. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a little late for breakfast. Aren't they closed now? Yeah, he lives there now. Truly, he is a legend there. As his prodigy, I would say he pretty much owns that place and could get me fired in a second. Um, I wonder where he's going to college also. Who knows? <laughs> It's a true mystery. But, you know what, I'm, I would be more excited about this if I didn't have a Saturday detention tomorrow. <laughs> Me too, what's the deal with that? I mean, they give us nearly two years to complete something that takes about an hour to do, and then they punish me for it? <laughs> what does cats even mean? <laughs> um, is it like, it's cats are silly, right? <laughs> no. Um, I'll <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, tonight we are celebrating the bodies of these young men, overlooking their personalities and completely objectifying their bodies. <laughs> we will put these young men on display, make them flaunt themselves around on this stage for our own entertainment. Not because it's right or ethical, but because we can. And that's the American spirit. Haha, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Beauty pageants are a proud American tradition. Sayasayor. Now, let's get to know our judges. Miss Armstrong is a well-known math teacher at the Downingtown STEM Academy. She's honored to have taught the critically acclaimed <laughs> such as Ben Muka and Clay Kovac. She even has her own fan club in the senior class and is an honorary leader of the Math Statistics Club. You can often see her traveling from room to room every period talking to other teachers, especially her math BFF, Mrs. Strano. Miss Armstrong is a certified math genius. Some even say she invented the unit circle. Others see her as the mother of the Pythagorean theorem. She knows the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and the area of a triangle is half base times height. She graduated from Westchester University in 2013 and has been teaching ever since. When Miss Armstrong isn't busy kicking Jack Venus out of her class, she's coaching girls volleyball and basketball at Westchester Henderson. Snyder. 
master of the pun, lover of Thai noodles, quick with a sarcastic quip, or the stem treadmills. When he's not training for a marathon, he's drinking the tears of students from his trusted mug. Just kidding, he's always training for a marathon. It's his students' tears that fuel them. The students have tried to argue with Mr. P, but have been left cowering in the wake of his superb lawyer argumentative skills. He's basically the intellectual Chuck Norris. There is no theory of evolution in his class, just a list of animals that he let survive. I'd say we have a fine judge panel that can teach these men. You betcha. And what better way to get the judging underway than to see these boys dance? The theme of this dance is when I grow up. Let's see what these boys have in store for the future. Take it away, boys. Eat. <laughs>